the Daniel Fortescue, back from the dead once again. The great hero of Galamere reduced to a dusty relic at the back of the old museum. Well, things are changing since you've been away. It's a new world, but with the same old problems. So find yourself a weapon and get ready for a scrap. Oh, and if you see my spectral trail, stand in the light and press action to summon me. I'd save if I was you. You made it. Nice one, Dan. If you meet that monster, don't be too scared. Look for his weak point. Don't let things get on top of you. Get on top of them. Afterwards, I'll take you to meet me boss. John Winston, I see you managed to find him after all. Fortescue, pleased to meet you. I should imagine that you are a little nonplussed as to what exactly is going on, eh? Ah, uh ah. -uh. Well, allow me to introduce myself. Professor Hamilton Kift, magician, inventor, and master of the occult at your service. If you're wondering what you're doing once again walking the earth, it appears that someone has got their hands on the legendary Zarok spellbook. Zarok, oh, go. Oh. Well, people like myself have been searching for that book for centuries. The power within its pages, oh. <laughs> well, last year, certain pieces of the book turned up, and this is the result. Total chaos. First, we have to find the extent of the damage, don't we? I myself am imprisoned in this god-awful pit without any power. Top priority is to get this place into suitable shape to start waging a little guerrilla war. <laughs> Has Winston told you about collecting magic? He has. Oh, good, good. Well, uh, off you go then. Select where you want to go on the projector over here. Also, uh, if you collect the chalice, I should be able to reward you with a new weapon. You can collect this off me here. Cane stick, sir? No modern knight should be seen without one. Once through this door, there's no going back, Dane. So you probably want to make sure that you got the chalice. Master will be pleased with booty. Yes, it's a pity we cannot yet enter the tomb. We will return. skill you made it excellent the energy you've collected has given us power of a sort and that's not all you've brought back I see I don't normally approve of any old way for stray but when they're as pretty as this one I think we could make exceptions <laughs> oh sorry sorry well tell me did you find anything useful on your journey mm. <laughs> a what Uh, 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 a snake? 
a dog and a rocket? Hello, sir, friend. Interesting. I'll analyze this and see if I can't debrief our friend over here. So, Dad, go and get some more zombie juice for my machines. <laughs> Try the hammer of Thor. You're sure to have a smashing time. The imps are using the freak show to build an army of giant elephant bots. Try and find where they're being constructed and destroy them. If we don't stop them, they'll storm the old city. And you're back! Fantastic! Loads to tell you! I've analyzed the watch you found, and I think I know who is behind this madness. Who? Huh? The name of our enemy is Lord Palethorn. He tried to gain respectability by joining the Magician's Circle, but they expelled him after he began to experiment with black magic. Frightful, frightful man. As far as we can see, the whole city has fallen under his wicked spell. Every dead soul in London is walking the streets, and a host of other demons have arrived to plague us. Here we go again. Not all bad news, though. This young... this lady is none other than Kia, 91st consort of Ramesses himself. I've been doing a little reading, and let me tell you, you might feel old, but she's positively ancient. No offense. You were the one who freed me from my eternal prison? Great warrior, I salute thee. I am forever in your debt. Right, introduction's over. On with the show. <laughs> Lovely, isn't she? The crossbow. Amanda, is it ready? Yes, Master. At the press of a button, the great scope will find all the pages of the spellbook. Good. Start the machine. Start the machine. Yes, soon. Soon it will all be mine. What the devil? No! What have we got here? Meddlesome fool. Do you know what you've ruined? Manda, deal with this wretch. Time to break some bones, dogman. Bones, bones, bones. Shut up. Fortescue, well done, my friend. You thwarted Palethorn. Winston tells me about his fiendish scheme, and it's our first piece of good news. If he hasn't got all the pages of the spellbook, then he hasn't got full control of the undead. If we can get to them before he does, then we just might stand a chance of defeating him. Sorry, no time for chat. If you're ready, let's get this show on the road. <laughs> Take this weapon. It's better than it looks, I can tell you. Winston has traced Palethorn. He's somewhere within Q. Who knows what you'll encounter when you're there? Oh, Amanda, it's a good thing our experiment in Greenwich turned up a page of the spellbook before that weird little skeleton monster chose to interrupt everything. Yes, Master. I trust his demise was suitably unpleasant. Master, he proved to be quite a resilient foe. He managed to evade us. What? Good grief, man! What do I pay you for? The two of you are worse than useless. I just hope the spell's been a success, and I can dispense with your services. You've got to stop the 
Humans would turn it into pumpkins. If they get infected, use the antidote before it's too late. I don't know exactly how many we can afford to lose. <laughs> Professor asked me to give you this. <laughs> All right, Dan, you've come a long way. I'd save if I was you. Dan! Dan! Not a moment too soon! Palethorn is launching an all-out attack! Keir says he's made some giant monster that will crush us all! Our only hope is to make our own! And using Keir's embalming knowledge, I think we can! In fact, I already have the head, but I need limbs! Limbs, Dan! I don't care what you've got to do to get them! We must get limbs! <laughs> Now's no time to be squeamish, Fortescue! Just bring me the limbs one at a time! Place them on the slab, and we'll build a monster of our own! Here we are! Hmm, we're doomed! Unless... Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fight Night. Palethorn Promotions, in association with the forces of darkness, brings you a match to the dead between In the White Court, weighing in at 280 pounds, with a record of no fights and no wins, then it start. And in the right corner, weighing in at 440 pounds, with an unbeaten record of 40 straight wins, the unbeatable, the unstoppable Iron Slayer! I don't need to tell you the prize that's at stake. Let's get it on! Okay, I want a good clean fight. And the first one to get a knockout is the winner. Any lost limbs can be collected between rounds. Shake, and let's fight. <laughs> Curse you! Curse you all! You think you've won? I'll have my day, and when I do, I'll... I'll... Well, we won that round quite literally, didn't we? But we're not out of the woods just yet. In fact, at this very moment, I'm picking up two areas of extreme psychic disturbance. One in Whitechapel, the other... It's like nothing I've ever seen. Uh, it's a pity you can't be in two places at once, Dan. <laughs> Professor, let me go. No, no, it's too dangerous. Well, if she's careful and comes back at the first sign of trouble... Wait. Sir Fortisk. Dan, you freed me from my tomb. Do not imprison me in another. I wish to see the world, to help in the fight, and I will be careful. Okay, Kira, you go to Whitechapel. Dan, you check out the other disturbance. <laughs> I've done a little work on your sword. You should find this a whole lot better. It's enchanted. If it runs out, the Spiv will be able to recharge it for you. Try the second compressor, Dogman. What a strange adversary Fortescue is. He's persistent, I'll give him that. And he certainly has the beating of you two. He also defeated Iron Slugger, Master. He also defeated Iron Slugger. You don't! I've had enough of you slimy, whiny get out! <sighs> no matter. I'll call on my allies earlier than expected. Aye, pale for is the time right for my glorious arrival? Oh yes, the timing is just perfect. <laughs> Come on, we're off. All right, Dan, you've come a long way. I'd save if I was you. Whatever's through this door is a lot worse than the stuff you've already encountered. Use your wits, not just your weapons. Reflect on what I've said. What manner of creature are you to disturb the Count's sleep? Why, before me I see nothing more than a reanimated bag of armor and bone. 
You have done well to get this far, but uh, the Count has walked this earth for a thousand years, defeating hundreds stronger than you, and for a thousand more I should- Get on with it! You interrupt me! For your insolence, you shall suffer beyond all imagining, my ugly little friend. <laughs> You have fought well, my bony friend, but all resistance is futile. You cannot defeat the Count. <laughs> Good stranger, you look for the Egyptian one. <laughs> she was here. I told her what's been happening, but the Ripper, he's been working through all my girls. I think she's gone to find him. I tried to stop her, but she's a headstrong girl. If she means anything to you, you better find her before it's too late. Quick! Hurry to the clock tower! But before you go, fortify yourself with this. Is it true the Great One Eye has come to save us? Well, Great One, you see, we were once a happy tribe, singing and dancing. That was until the great beast came and lured away all our women. Now the only song we sing is a sad one. We have lost the taste for battle and the will to live. Great God, can you restore our women to us? If you can, you will be well rewarded. Oh, I've been looking for you. It may be time to see what the spear's got for you. You might find it extremely interesting. By the powers of the Time Stone, I declare we are the whole tribe once more. Will you stay and defend us from future attack? No, I have to return to the surface. How do I get back? Very well. I will return you to the water's edge, where Transport will be waiting. Here, take your reward. Damn, I had almost given up hope. We still have a little time left to defeat Palethorn. If he gets the last pages of the spellbook, then... Professor. What's this? Um, I don't know. Never seen it before. <coughs> it's a poster of one of my earliest experiments. The time machine doesn't work, though. Complete waste of time. I'm sorry. No, we must focus on defeating Palethorn. I'm sorry about Kier, I really am, but it's too late to worry about her now. <coughs> all right, all right. I, I've been economical with the truth. I knew it was Palethorn all along. We used to be friends. That was before the expedition of 78. Ever wondered how I got these hands? Well, it's all in my diary over there. But the machine, it, it's still at the museum. It's probably smashed, though. Anyway, I never could get it to do anything other than move through space. Like I said, waste of time. Oh. All right, Dan, you've come a long way. I'd save if I was you.
right, Dan, you've come a long way. I'd save if I was you. Alright, Dan, you've come a long way. I'd save if I was you. Mercy, Honourable Knight. Spare me. Uh -uh. The magic sword, twice the size and twice as powerful as all your other close range weapons. <coughs> oh, you found her then. Good, good. <laughs> I knew she'd come to no harm. <sighs> Uh, ooh, there's no time for this lovey-dovey stuff. Uh, things are looking grim. I'm uh, picking up a bizarre signal from... Khalid Inspired. We're part of the one looking for the final pages of the spell book. Uh, yes, Cathedral Spires. How did you know that? <laughs> Come to think of it, where did you get that newfangled armor from? <laughs> mm, looks to be made of the same material as your shield. Interesting. Should afford you much greater protection. Right, the mission is simple. We have to find that page of the spell book before Palethorn, or else all of London will be his, and we've lost. All right, Dan, you've come a long way. I'd save if I was you. I'll take that, thank you. You never give up, do you, Dan? I knew you'd find the last page of Zarek's spellbook for me. You should have joined me. We would have made a great team. Instead, I got lumbered with these two. But, Master, I... Silence. Think about it, Daniel. An eternity by my side. Why, with my powers, I could put flesh onto your bones as easy as pie. I'll never join you! What was that? Could you mumble that again? No? Oh well. You two can redeem yourselves. Kill you <laughs> for the spell page. Oh, you've killed my beloved servants. How tragic. How achingly predictable. Well, Daniel, it's been fun, but now I'm afraid the game is over and it's time for you to die.
Well, I suppose a decent thing would be to admit defeat. But I ain't a decent man. If I'm going down, I'm taking you with me. It's funny. All my life, all I wanted was a little respect. And world domination, of course. For people to notice. Well, they'll notice this. I suppose a decent thing would be to admit defeat. But I ain't a decent man. If I'm going down, I'm taking you with me. It's funny. All my life, all I wanted was a little respect. And world domination, of course. For people to notice. Well, they'll notice this. <laughs> <laughs> 